The open closed surfaces command is a way for you to take a closed periodic surface and open it up for further editing, or to take an open surface and turn it into a closed periodic surface, of course, meaning that the end patch overlaps uh, over the beginning patch. Now, let me start off by creating a torus, which is a closed periodic surface. And we'll rotate this to 90, and I'll go ahead and just hide my grid out. And we'll simply start off by selecting it. Let's go under Edit NURBS and just choose Open Closed Surfaces. When you're opening, the settings don't really mean much. So we'll just open this up. The only thing that's important is the direction in which you'd like to open, which we can change in our input node. So we can choose Direction U or Direction V or Direction U and V. So just whichever way you want to open that up. Also, be aware of this. If I undo back to uh, beforehand, now this is the, the truth of a lot of NURBS tools. I just, I'm not sure if I actually mentioned this. If you delete out your history and you run this tool, notice we don't have an input node here that we can adjust. So we need to make sure we kept original in order to create some history between the two. So just something I wanted you guys to be aware of. Now, that's the, the bottom line for opening. Again, it's very, very simple. Uh, what I'd like to do now is take a look at closing. So what I'll do is I'll select isoparms. Let me grab the seam and detach, which, by the way, is the easiest way to uh, make a surface no longer periodic. It's still closed, as you can see, because it looks like a single surface. But now I can grab CVs at the very end, and I can pull the surface open. Actually open up gaps inside of it if I want to look inside. So now it's no longer periodic. Now that I've done that on one side, let's do the same thing on the other side. Let's go ahead and detach. I'll take the outside ring and destroy it. And we'll grab isoparms here, detach, and we'll cut out this interior ring like so. So here's the shape that we have, and let's use this to talk about closing. Now let's go under Edit NURBS, Open Closed Surfaces, and we'll open up our options. Now again, we have that surface direction, which we talked about over inside the node. You can change it in options as well. Would you like to close your surface in U, V, or both? Now, in some NURB surfaces, it's going to be hard to tell which direction is U and which direction is V. And you have some options to figure out which direction you'd like to use to close your surface up. Well, one option, of course, is just trial and error. We could just click on U and apply and say, no, nah, actually, we want to do a, a kind of close in this direction. So let's undo that, switch over to V, and click apply again. If you'd like to get it right the first time, one of the things you can do is go under Display, NURBS Components, and switch on Surface Origins, which is going to highlight the U and V directions of the surface, where U is red and V is green. So if we wanted to close the thing up in this direction, we know now that that's uh, the V direction, so now we just make sure that V is highlighted and click Apply, and all is good. Now if that's too much work, and you know, maybe a little bit too much effort to go all the way to the Display menu, and come all the way down to NURBS components, and then wait forever for this menu to pop up, and then switch on surface origins. What you can also do is select an individual isoparm running in the direction in which you want to close. So again, if we want to close this up, like in this direction that my mouse is moving now, we can just grab an isoparm already running in that direction. I won't, don't even worry about my, uh, my settings. We'll switch the settings off for now, and we'll go ahead and close, and it closes in that direction. Now, without changing any of the settings, watch this. I'll just grab a different isoparm and close the surfaces like so. And now it closes in this direction. So you can use isoparms to designate to Maya the direction in which you'd like to close the surface. Very, very handy. Now let's go back to Edit NURBS, Open Closed Surfaces. Down from here, we have how we want to handle the shape, whether or not we want to preserve the original shape, which is the default setting. In this setting, Maya will add or remove additional points to try to maintain the original shape of the object, which we've already seen up to a point where you notice the original shape doesn't really change. We just sort of get a connecting piece that comes together. We can choose to ignore the original shape where you'll notice there's a, a more of a change in the shape itself because Maya is not really worried about maintaining that shape. It's more interested in getting the surface all closed up. And finally, we can choose to blend. And this is where Maya is going to create continuity at the point of join where it closes the surface. So you'll notice in this case, changes the surface shape dramatically, but we have a nice smooth join there. Now once you've done this, once you've used blend, you have the ability to control the blend bias, which I can show you in the options uh, menu. It's right here. But if we adjust it in the node, you can actually see this working. What this is going to do is move the point of join for the closure more toward one side or the other. 
So 0.5 will be right in the middle, 0 will be at one side, and 1 will be on the other. You can also choose whether or not you'd like to insert a knot into this, which in the options menu appears here. It's just a checkbox, and in the node exists here, so we can switch this on, and inserting a knot will add a little more, uh, I guess, accuracy, a little more precision as to uh, where these two points are going to come together. And so now I can take uh, the parameter of that knot insertion and adjust it. Let me slow down my virtual slider to make this a little easier to see. As I decrease the parameter, the join point becomes tighter right here in the middle. Now, the only reason it's in the middle, of course, is because my blend bias, <coughs> excuse me, my blend bias is set to 0 0.5. So as I adjust the bias back and forth, you'll notice that I'm moving that point left and right. Let's leave it at 0 0.5 now, though. As I increase the parameter, we sort of smooth that out. So it's just a way to get a lot of control over how that closure is taking place exactly. And then finally, of course, uh, we still have the direction, so we can choose U, V, or both. And really, that's about it. It's just a way for you to close up a surface, and we can, of course, now close it in U as well. And whoops. Looks like we end up with a problem if we do that. Let's see. I wonder why. Isoparm, U, and G. Let's see, what did, what did the script editor say? It said, uh, close surface to, not enough spans to close the surface with the blend option. Oh, okay, should have known better. But that's okay, not a problem. We just come back in here and let's just switch on preserve and apply. Of course, that way it adds points so we don't have a problem. So uh, that's really all there is to it. It's just a way to close up a surface. You've also got to, of course, keep original, which is handy if you need some history or if you need access to that original shape. And uh, that's all there is to it. So that is going to wrap things up for this video. Thanks a lot.